ambition has really shifted in the way that I perceive it over time. That when I first set out into the world, when I first started at university, um, it was all about what I could achieve out on the world stage. I began my life as an opera singer, my professional life, and did that for about 10 years. And then reconfigured as a journalist and went and retrained and that was that was quite a humbling experience. Um, I'd had what I would call some success um, in Australasia and, and traveling the world as a singer and things like that and uh, but I then had a vocal injury and I had an ankle injury sort of simultaneously and had to really look at where my life was going and had to re-examine my priorities in life. I've had some some great leverage here creatively. I mean, I'm working on a screenplay at the moment. I've managed to collaborate on that with some great partners. I'm still singing. Interestingly enough, I'm back to singing again, which I had stopped doing in New Zealand for some time. Um, but I've moved into a lot of church-based singing now, and that's interesting for me because it ties in very deeply with what I believe. Um, I'm a Christian and that really informs every part of my life. And I think for me, I had to really set aside my ambitions, which were selfish ambitions, to have this sort of revelation in a way that if I'm working towards something for the greater good, to help a greater number of people, if I'm using my gifts and talents um, to reach people and to have that impact on people. I can see when it's happening. If I'm performing in an old folks home, if I'm volunteering my time there or if I'm singing in a church setting, just watching um, the emotion of people, just seeing how it affects people. You can use your voice, you can use your creativity to affect change positively in people's lives.